Let's look at some of the stories we're covering for you. Let's jump right into those headlines. The Garcon Point Bridge could be the most wasteful road project in the history of Florida. The problem started at the beginning before the first car even made it across. Now, both the toll and the debt attached to that bridge continue to go up. Well, Kennedy, taking a look at this issue in your Waste Watch report. Escambia County deputies say they've arrested a 15-year-old boy for shooting a pregnant woman. Deputies say a 19-year-old pregnant woman told them she was shot while walking down Oak Forest Drive around 1030 last night. She was taken to the hospital. Now, her name and condition haven't been released as of yet. 15-year-old Ladero Page was interviewed by investigators. He is charged with aggravated battery and discharging a firearm in public. A man wanted for attempted murder in Fort Walton Beach has been arrested in Charleston, South Carolina. Didn't go easily, though. U.S. Marshals say they were able to take 19-year-old Michael Venning into custody after a standoff yesterday. He's accused of robbing and shooting 20-year-old Deion Sanders on December the 31st. Now, Sanders did survive despite being hit five times. Venning will be extricated back to the Gulf Coast. Now let's get you the very latest on that school shooting that happened in Philadelphia just about an hour ago. This happened inside a gym at the Delaware Valley Charter School. That's a high school in North Philadelphia about 3 o'clock our time. Two students, a boy and a girl, both 15 years old, were shot in the arm. They are in stable condition at a hospital there. Now the suspected gunman, also a student, was caught near his home. The gun has not been recovered as of yet. Police say that surveillance video does show seven students were in that gym before the gunfire started. Investigators also say they have been, this may have been an accidental shooting. They don't know that for sure. As we get more details into the newsroom, you're going to get them. You know, a young woman was kidnapped in broad daylight on a busy Boston street. She was thrown into a car, but as Jorge Gregorio explains, she's been able to escape after her attacker got into a car wreck. Can you imagine? Well, Cartagena faces charges for kidnapping, carjacking, and assault and battery. The victim was taken to the hospital for evaluation. Now, her boyfriend says that under the circumstances, she is okay. Thank goodness. Let's move you over to California now. More than 500 firefighters in Southern California say they are making some progress here in the battle against a wildfire that is keeping thousands of people from their homes in Northeast Los Angeles. Now, crews are still fighting flare-ups. They're preventatively dosing properties in the path of that fire. Firefighters are also lighting controlled backfires to reduce the fuel. Look at these pictures here. Now, they do have that fire 30% contained, but there is a huge, major drought going on. That, with the Santa Ana winds, they say is creating a really difficult situation. Authorities say this was all started by a campfire. Three men have been arrested for letting that campfire get out of control, and authorities say they have been very apologetic since then. Two people were killed after a gunman opened fire inside a crowded South Florida doctor's office. This happened at Doctor's Choice Medical Center yesterday afternoon in West Palm Beach. Police say that shooting happened after a personal business meeting at that office. The gunman killed one man, injured a woman before killing himself. Nearly two dozen other people were inside that office at the time. No one else hurt there, though. Let's take a look at your health. There's a new Surgeon General report that says smoking is even more dangerous than originally thought. That report now links smoking to other diseases, including diabetes, colorectal cancer, liver cancer, and erectile dysfunction. It says smoking also increases the failure rate of cancer treatment. That report also says that one in 13 American children alive today will die prematurely from smoking-related diseases unless the current smoking rate drops. There's also a new study about the dangers of drinking alcohol. The journal Addiction found nearly 80,000 people die every year as a result of drinking alcohol in North and Latin America. Now, men accounted for 84% of alcohol-related deaths. That's a huge number there. Researchers found liver disease was the most common cause of death, but they linked the wide range of diseases and conditions to alcohol use, including heart disease, stroke, epilepsy, and suicide. So how do you know how much alcohol is too much here? According to the CDC, heavy drinking is defined as having more than one drink a day for women and more than two drinks a day for men. You know, America's ERs need to improve here. That is from the American College of Emergency Physicians. A new report card gave emergency medical care here in the U.S. a D+. That report doesn't really single out any specific doctors or hospitals, but it does show how well states and the federal government are doing in terms of supporting emergency care. Categories they looked at included access to care and disaster preparedness. You know, it is that time of year when New Year's resolutions and exercise um, it says full force, maybe start to fade.
not judging. It is the time of year when a lot of people catch colds too. So if you keep working out while you're sick, is that a good idea or not? Martha Shade taking a look, giving you the answers. All right, ladies, let's let's make it honest here. We've got it all, right? Wrinkles here and there, stretch marks, maybe an extra pound or two. Well, if you can't change it, dress it up. Yeah, there is a new ad campaign from American Eagle, and they say that they're not changing anything. They're not photoshopping and fixing all those photos you're going to see. ABC's Juju Chang gives us an exclusive first peek.